What is up y'all, it's Shay Curry here and welcome back to another video. Y'all, so I know this is like, you know, a little mid-week surprise because by the time y'all are seeing this, it's like probably Wednesday. And I know y'all are used to me uploading on a Friday. So I hope y'all are having a great week. I wanted to pop in because I actually just finish changing out my gym bag. So I wanted to show y'all my new gym bag, the stuff that I have in my gym bag because I haven't showed y'all that in a while. So let me show y'all what's inside of here. But before I do, I wanna say thank you to Dossier for being a sponsor for this portion of today's video. If you guys have not heard of Dossier, they are a fragrance company that provides dupes of your luxury high-end fragrances for a fraction of the price. Now, y'all know I first introduced Dossier to my channel, I think it was last month, and me, myself, Russell Harlow, we did our initial smell test of the fragrances. Y'all, I was obsessed then. I'm still obsessed with these fragrances now. Since then, I've worn these fragrances to date nights, just running errands. I've worn them to a wedding. Y'all, I love these scents. When I say they're potent, they last all day. I can spray these fragrances on at the beginning of the day. I still smell it on my skin at the end of the day. And for $29, I think that is a steal, especially the fact that these fragrances smell exactly like pretty much to the T like the, you know, original luxury fragrance that you can find in the stores for, you know, oftentimes hundreds of dollars, okay? The funny thing though, is that in the initial video when I was first like smelling all of the fragrances for the first time, I had let y'all know that my favorite fragrance was the Floral Honeysuckle. This is a dupe of the Gucci Bloom, which I freaking love. It is such just like a floral, clean, just like a fresh scent. It is so girly, I love this. However, I found myself gravitating and just being pulled towards the Florental Vanilla. This is a dupe of the YSO Black Opium, y'all. I love this. This is just such a sexy scent and it literally smells exactly like YSO Black Opium. Y'all can already see on the side, I have put a dent in this bad boy compared to the floral honeysuckle. And the thing is, it's like I said, these fragrances are potent, so you don't need to use a lot because you are going to smell them. They're not body sprays. These are actual perfumes that are going to be lasting. You are getting a nice amount of perfume in these bottles. These are 1.7 fluid ounce. And like I said, a couple of squirts, you are good to go. So when you get your fragrance, it is going to come just in this box here with the company's name at the front. Once you open it up, you are going to see a little fragrance card here that is going to have the name of the perfume, the notes, as well as the luxury fragrance that it's inspired by, its concentration, a little thank you from the company, and also some more information about Dossier. This scent here that y'all see is Flora into Vanilla. Y'all know um, I mentioned that this is a dupe for the Carolina Herrera. I love this as well, but this is like a scent I feel like I just, you know, it has to be the right occasion for me to pull this out. My go-tos, again, have been Flory into Vanilla and Floral Honeysuckle. These are like my babies. With all of your scents, you are going to get a little like sample size of the perfume, which allows you to try it out before you actually unseal the bottle and open it up. If you try it out, you don't like it, you can definitely go ahead and return the fragrance, no hassle. You can get your money back or just exchange it for another scent that you've been eyeing. And it's just like, such a smooth process, y'all. They're also always having just bulk deals, different discounts on their sites. So definitely check them out, y'all. Y'all can use my code to get some money off, to get some percentage off, because we all know, like I always say, any coin saved is a win, okay? Especially when you're getting these fragrances for $29, okay? I feel like I keep saying that, but I have to stress that you are getting dupes of Gucci, YSL, Tom Ford, Chanel, the list goes on for $29. I will leave everything for y'all down below in the description box. Discount code, link to the site. Y'all can go ahead, check them out for yourself. This is the perfect time to go ahead and get your fall fragrance game up. 
because fall is here y'all and we need to be smelling good throughout this holiday season also these are going to be great great christmas gifts for you know the men and women in your family because they do have fragrances that cater to both i promise y'all y'all will not be disappointed okay trust me this is a company that i will definitely continue to talk about continue to let y'all know because we all need to smell good dossier thank you again for sponsoring this portion of today's video and now let's look in this gym bag so if y'all remember this was the gym bag that i was carrying just a steve madden backpack y'all i personally love steve madden bags for my gym bags as y'all can see in the inside it's just open like no compartments no nothing just open this is what i didn't like about it as time went on because y'all know you know at the gym i have to take my camera my tri little tripod you know on top of my little accessories all that stuff and just having everything thrown in here it doesn't matter how many little mini bags i would try to use it still just gets junky and it's hard for me to find stuff so i found this steve madden bag right here which i freaking love i ended up putting this little ball thing on the side because i'm extra but i love this bag y'all it has so many different compartments on there i love the little um like pleather and then this little material the difference <laughs> i love that i love it i love it i love it and you can you know carry it like this which i love but then also you can use the double straps that it has and you can wear it like that so i just think it is so cute first let's go ahead and open up this compartment here honestly i don't have anything in this area here yet just because it's open i don't want anything to fall out so i really don't know what to put there right now so i don't have anything in the front the next compartment is this front zipper here this is like my self-care hygiene um area so i have the summer eves um cleansing cloths that i showed y'all in that i heard unboxing video i told y'all i was going to be having these in my gym bag that's exactly what i've been using them for and they've been coming in clutch okay so i love these this is extra i know I always have like two or three perfumes in my gym bag. I've been using the Victoria's Secret Magnetic Body Spray. Love that. Smells so good. And then I love the You're the One Body Spray by um, or from Bath and Body Works. Love that one. And I love this Rose Quartz one. I have this In the Stars Body Lotion from Bath and Body Works. As y'all can see, I love Bath and Body Works. Gotta make sure your girl is not ashy. This bag actually came attached to this bag right here. In here, I just have like my little um, spray hand sanitizers. I don't even remember where this is from, but this is a peppermint citrus hand sanitizer. I have that one. I also have the Germ X gels, have another Germ X gels because Corona and y'all know I had COVID, not trying to do that again. So yeah, your girl stays cleansed on the hands. Also have the little Vaseline um, lip moisturizers, lip chap because y'all know I'm still wearing a mask in the gym. Your girl is still masking up. So underneath, I just like to put a little Vaseline on my lips. I have this, um, I guess this is Dionys goat milk hand cream. Love the smell of this. I actually got this from Cracker Barrel. I've seen these at Ulta as well. So another lip gloss from Bath and Body Works. This is their Mentha lip tint. And then I just have a little stylus in here because sometimes, you know, on my Instagram stories, I like to write stuff, draw something out. And I just have this in my gym bag just in case I want to make like an Instagram story or something and be extra draw while I'm there. I just have my little stylus in there. So that is what I have in there. Just, you know, try to keep everything organized together that's what i need organization okay in the main 
compartment here, which is the big zipper. Y'all can see this opens up so much. And I feel like I have a lot in here and it still doesn't even look like it just because it's so deep. Previously, I used to only wear men's deodorant in the gym, but I try to, you know, switch up to a little dub and I find that this works for me, surprisingly. Sometimes it can get a little funky under there just trying like other women's deodorant. They usually don't hold me, but this dove, this line here actually does work. I need to restock on that, but this is the Caring Coconut flavor or scent. I have my High Pure headphones. Y'all know I've showed y'all these. Love these for my, you know, days where I'm all over the place. Jumping on the ground. They do not fall out of my ear at all. So love those. I will have a discount code for y'all down below as well. Also in here, I have my Sweet Sweat belt. I still do use this. Um, I alternate between these, this one and the J Sculpt belt. I really use the Sweet Sweat belt more frequently. Um, just because y'all also know I do a lot of outdoor workouts and this has my core sweating like bullets. I find that this one is definitely more comfortable and fluid. So I do like wearing this one in the gym. I don't wear it every time I work out, but whenever I do feel like wearing some type of belt, typically when I want like a good sweat, I'm going for the sweet sweat. These are ankle weights. These are five pound or two and a half pound ankle weights. Um, you can also wear them on your arm, but I love wearing these on my leg days as well. I'm just keeping these in here just because today is a leg day, but best believe once this leg day is over, they will be coming out of my bag. They just weigh the thing down, okay? And then also I have my fight tech. I forgot what these are called, ankle straps. When I'm doing my like glute kickbacks, my cable glute kickbacks, um, just cable exercises on my lower body. These go around your ankles. You literally put it on your ankle, tie it around, and then you would put the cable right here. And you know, you do your cable leg kickbacks, um, things like that. So I love these a lot of times in the gym. Either they don't have them, or the ones that they have look very worn down and you know, everybody's been using them, everybody's been sweating on them. So I just like to have my own and I find that these are very, very sturdy. These are good quality. I showed y'all these a while back when I first got them. I think it, it at least has to be a year, over a year now, uh, but they still, as y'all can see, still look good. Love the green color. I haven't had any tears or anything on these. So I will have these linked down below in the description box as well. Everything, just check the description box, y'all. Everything will be down there for y'all. This is the actual bag that the Sweet Sweat belt came in, but I like to use it as a, you know, carrier for my resistance bands. Y'all know the resistance bands that I've been using, as y'all can tell for a while, are the older height bands. These are run down. I showed y'all these as well when I first got these. I'm telling y'all, when I bring sponsors on my channel, it's stuff that I actually use and actually want y'all to try out and would recommend to y'all because everything that I have, I use. <laughs> these have been through the ringer. Y'all can see I need to wash them. The good thing about these cloth resistance bands is that you can wash them. They're perfectly fine. I've you I pretty much use resistance bands throughout every workout and um, yeah, they're still holding on, still have the um, resistance. It's not loose or anything like that. This is the medium resistance bands, which is pretty much my go-to. Also have the small, which is a five to 15 pound resistance. And then also have the heavy, which I don't surprisingly use this one that much just because it's such a heavy resistance. This one is a 35 to 60 pound resistance, just depending on how you're using them. So it is pretty, pretty intense. Also in here, I have my gliders. Y'all, these are probably my favorite accessory that I use at the gym. You can use these for lower body, core work, upper body work. Like you can do so much with gliders. If you do not have a set of gliders that you are using throughout your workouts, y'all need to get you some. They are pretty inexpensive. You can find them anywhere. I think I got these from Five Below, if I'm not mistaken. I wanna tell y'all the 
options, the possibilities are endless when it comes to these gliders. I love these and they give you just such a good workout. Like, ugh, love the gliders. Last thing that I have in there is my jump rope. Y'all know I've been telling y'all that, you know, jump rope has been my favorite form of cardio these days. I love doing, you know, a jump rope exercise for like 15, 20 minutes, um, just like a hit version of jump roping before my leg day, my upper body days, it don't even matter. Five below jump ropes, I love them and they're $5. They get the job done. So yeah, that is everything that I have in the big compartment. It is empty and even though I had all this stuff, it did not look like it, which makes me happy because that was the problem with just the backpack. Literally everything would be all in there and I could not find anything. Like I would literally have to pull everything out to get to what I wanted. And yeah, it just got to be really old. The last compartment that I have left is this back compartment, which is mostly going to be just like, you know, filming stuff. Have my handy dandy fitness journal in here. Y'all, I have been getting back in the habit of tracking my weight tracking how much I'm lifting, tracking just my strength training because of course y'all know I'm trying to build, I'm building muscle. I want to make sure that I'm, you know, doing, you know, progressive overload um, because that is really how you get those muscles that you want. Um, so I wanna make sure each week, every two weeks, however often, you know, just depending on my body, that I'm pushing myself, that I'm not regressing and, you know, kind of just being stagnant, but I'm forcing myself to do lift heavier weight in order to get the results that I want. And then also last thing I'm trying to make sure, yeah, I just have my little mini tripod, y'all. This is typically what I take with me in the gym. It's just a little Manfrotto. So yes, y'all, I mean, I just love this bag. Let me know down below um, if y'all, you know, have items things in your gym bag that you think that I should add to my gym bag. Y'all know I'm always looking for suggestions, looking for some new gadgets. So I love y'all. I will see y'all in the next video on Friday. Beautiful, all your flaws are perfect. You should let them show the things I love the most. I don't know what you see, but I see all of your beautiful.